Hello, I'm Jack Falvis, and uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating uh, the workflow that we use here at Oasis Digital slash Expium. So as you can see here, we're starting uh, in a JIRA project, and I'm just going to create a new item to work on here. Uh, so we're going to be improving our application. So let's just say that the, the task to be done is we want to make three comments, or the task that we want to do is to improve the README. And to do that, we're going to make three more comments in it. All right, so this is this issue that we're going to be working on. And so then the first thing that happens is that the project lead is then going to assign it to somebody. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and assign it to myself and put it in the list of things that are to do. So now putting on my developer hat, uh, I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to start development on it. So we're starting. And then over in source tree here, I have the project already checked out on this computer, uh, and I'm going to start a branch. So I'm going to hit this branch button, uh, I'm going to make a branch, I'm going to call it something that has to do with what I'm doing, so I'm going to improve the readme. And then I'm going to go over to my code editor, I have the readme already open here. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start putting in some comments. So. Uh, the first thing I probably want to do is put a title here, so I've got some more comments. This is comment one. So now I've made some significant progress on this issue. I'm about a third of the way through. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and commit, right, because this is already uh, an improvement. This is something uh, that we could potentially uh, you know, carry forward. Somebody could, could carry forward from here. So. Uh, I'm coming back over to source tree. I've just staged all of my changes uh, to get ready to commit. So now I'm going to commit and I'm going to put in uh, a reference to the issue. So it is issue number 131. So if I put model-131 and hit commit, so this is both going to commit locally and also push it to the remote uh, repository. So now if I come back here, uh, and I might have to uh, refresh this page, or there it goes. So now we can see that there is one commit that is uh, relevant to this particular issue. Uh, we can click here and it's going to take me to Bitbucket. There we go. So here I can see the change uh, and people can comment on it. So putting on a, a third different hat, I can say something like, you know, looks good keep going. All right, so give give some feedback on the work that's been done so far. Okay, so now getting back to the actual work, so I'm putting back on my developer hat. I'm going to put the remaining two comments. So this is comment two and then comment three. So I now have got my work to a state where I think I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and stage all and commit again. So again, I need to mention the uh, item that I'm working on uh, and say something about what I did. You know, added last two comments. Okay, so now I have a branch out there that I'd like somebody else to take a look at. So what I'm going to do is over in JIRA, I'm going to move it into the review and testing column and uh, let the team lead know that somebody needs to take a look at it and either they or somebody they designate is going to go into Bitbucket. So if we look in here, we should see my commits. So they can look at this first one see that it was already good. We can look then back at the second one and they can also you know uh, check out the the changes locally 
and uh, you know test it out. And uh, let's say that they say, you know, this comment's good, but you know, this comment would be better if it mentioned cats, right? Give some kind of feedback of something that needs to change uh, before we can really accept this as the uh, the final uh, final change that we're going to be making. So uh, with that done, they're going to go ahead and move this back to continue development. So at this point, developer me is going to go ahead and uh, pick this back up. So I'll go ahead and in here, I'm going to say, OK, well, comment two, we need to mention cats. So I say now with cats. So I think that I have uh, su successfully updated this to the point where uh, it will now pass scrutiny. So I'm going to go ahead and commit again. And I'll say model 131, adding info about cats. Sure. So now I want to send this for review again. And uh, this is getting to be quite a few commits here. We can see that the changes have actually been uh, spread out across three different commits. So something we'll often do is uh, you can make a new branch here. So this is going to be something like improve readme-2. Uh, and then I'm going to squash these commits together. So I'll do that from the terminal here. So git rebase dash i uh, the master. So what this is doing is it is going to take these three sets of changes, and I'm just going to make them all one set of changes. So then I want my commit message to be something uh, summarizing all of the changes that I've made so far. I make three comments, one with cats. OK, so I've now successfully rebased this. So if I come back over here, uh, we can see that I now have a new branch uh, off of the current master, which has just one commit in it. And so this is the sum total of everything I've done so far. It makes it really easy for somebody to come along and view all of the changes without having, without having to understand, oh, you know, I added comment two in this commit, but then I edit it in the next commit and things like that. So all of the changes have been summarized by this one branch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and push it up to Bitbucket. So right now it's just local. Now it's also in Bitbucket. So that means that I can go ahead and delete the old branch because it's completely uh, obviated by my new one. So I'm going to delete it both locally and remotely. So now when I, I have one commit off of master for somebody to review. So I can come to uh, Jira again, and I'm going to say, OK, somebody please review this for me again. And then putting my reviewer hat back on, we'll come over, we'll look at the branch. So we'll see there's only one commit on this branch. So we'll look at it. And uh, at this point, we could either you know, make more comments if we spot more things that need to be improved. Uh, or in this case, this looks pretty good to me uh, to finish off the item. So I'll just say uh, looks good. So uh, now that that has been done over here, I can make a comment on this uh, item. Let's see, I might have to make it its own window to do that. Yeah, here we go. So I can make a comment of, you know, this is ready to merge with master. So at this point, um, the project lead, or again, somebody that they designate, uh, is going to take over, and uh, they will be responsible for uh, 
taking master, which is the current state of the application as we would be delivering to a customer. Uh, and they're going to merge these changes into it. So I'm just going to do that right now. So this is a local merge. So this is just currently in this repo or this checkout of um, of the project. Master has now moved forward by one step, uh, and we've got one commit that very concisely uh, has the set of changes that are needed to address the the one item that. Uh, it is pertaining to. So at this point, I would push to Bitbucket. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to actually include this in the real master for this project. Uh, but so just pretend that I hit this push button and that origin master here moved up one step. So with that done, uh, the, the item has been delivered. So the next time that we uh, make a um, a delivery to the customer. Uh, this change will be included with, with that. So at that point we can then uh, go ahead and send it for testing. So this would be uh, basically you know as part of merging to master here uh, we're going to kick off the automated tests um, which are going to make sure that you know nothing's broken. Uh, so we've got you know end-to-end -end tests that will go and click through uh, and unit tests that will you know, test all of the complex logic. So assuming that all of that uh, goes through OK, uh, then the project lead can go ahead and resolve this issue. So we can say that this uh, was fixed. Uh, it's fixed in you know, some version, doesn't matter. Let's see, do we have versions for this project? Yeah, so version 002. And then we could give a build uh, so like a, a hash for the uh, actual build on our build server. Uh, if we're using something like uh, Bamboo, for example. Um, and then we do a final check to make sure that everything that we consider to be you know, essential for a item to be done has been done. So in this case, uh, somebody reviewed the issue other than the person that actually was doing the work on it. So that, that is, is checked. Uh, it was tested. We have automated tests that run when you merge to master. Uh, and the, as part of reviewing, people made sure that the tests were updated. Uh, it's been merged to master. That's what in mainline means. Uh, so there's this in items that have an effect on the uh, visuals of an application, uh, we would take a screenshot showing what it looks like. So for example, if somebody wants to review a you know, CSS change, for example, without actually having to boot up the full application, uh, that's generally very useful. So uh, in this case, you know, we, we, uh, we don't need that, so we can consider that to be done. Uh, same thing with databases. So uh, if you are ch making a change to the underlying database, you need to document that change. So uh, we don't have any database changes, so that can be considered done. And then finally, we've deleted all the obsolete feature branches. So I did that earlier. That was when I had these two, the two branches, and I had one that was just the one commit, and the other one that was three commits. So that three commit one was obsolete uh, because of the one that just got merged to master. So that has been uh, deleted. Actually, so technically, I should also delete this guy too. So if I delete him and the version on the remote, right? remembering that master has included this change. So master on Bitbucket, you know, again, pretending that I'd hit that button to push the changes to master to the Bitbucket server, uh, contains those changes. So I now have no outstanding branches for this issue. So the obsolete feature branches have been deleted. All the changes that are needed are actually in master. Uh, and then you could give some additional comments about uh, what was done or maybe you know, future work that might need to be done in other items. So uh, with that done, we can go ahead and resolve the issue. And then the next time that this uh, application is delivered to the customer, uh, this item is part of that set, part of that release. So that is a, a brief overview of the life uh, of an issue kind of from start to finish. Uh, so I hope you learned something from that.